Hi, we're obviously at home right now. We've been under a stay at home order in Michigan for about two months now. And while that means we've been able to play a ton of Dungeons and Dragons, we've obviously done it all online. And for those of us who live really close to each other, like here in Ann Arbor, this is pretty much the first time we've ever had to use any of the online solutions available. And while there's a ton of good options and combinations of options, and we have tried them all over the last couple months, it was almost too much for the case of some of us who are you know, just starting to play online and having to get up to speed on a whole new platform and learn where all the settings are and set up completely new maps on encounters that maybe we've already set up on paper uh, or on a battle mat somewhere. Um, and so it was just a huge learning curve. There's even a giant Reddit thread that compares and contrasts everything and there's great information in there and I highly recommend you go check it out. But it doesn't cover everything. So really all we need is something, some kind of graphical reference while we're playing so that we don't have to, as a DM, go over and then over again, and then over a third time for the person who wasn't paying attention the first and second times we went over it, the little spatial relations and uh, technical information that come across in every single scene, whether it's combat or not. How far away is that wall? Can I get there in one turn? Is uh, Lothar close enough to hear this conversation? Can I get all the gerbil uh, mounds in the same fireball radius? Uh, am I going to hit the squirrel with this burning hands cone? Um, all that stuff. Is the chandelier close enough for me to jump out? Like this, these are things that um, tend to just burn up a ton of time in a session if you have to keep explaining them and keep going over them. And, you know, as a DM, I can't remember if I told you that that thing is 10 feet away or 20 feet away. So we just need some simple way that everybody can look at and have at the same time that automatically updates uh, for some simple graphical reference, right? And the requirements of that are pretty low. All we really, really, really need is some sort of grid that we can all see and all edit in real time. Uh, and that has some limited graphical function on it, right? So I can draw pictures and shapes and maybe even put an image in there if I want to, but that's really a bonus. Uh, and so I thought, what about a Google Sheet? It's so easy and quick to use that we started playing and when James was DMing, he actually built out a map on a second tab with while we were playing, we had no idea. And he just said, hey, click over to this tab. I have a map ready to go for you. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up a sheet and change the width of all your rows to height of 100 pixels. That's gonna turn it into a grid. If you want, you can highlight everything and thicken the grid lines to see them a little better um, with this little formatter here. Um, and that's your battle map. That's really all you need to do. And then after that, just share the sheet with everybody, type in your initials, copy paste them to move them around. You can write in text them where you want. If you wanna get a little crazier, I just made a little bin tab here where I dropped a bunch of images and then you just copy paste them onto the, onto the battle map that you're using on a bunch of tabs. You can just create copies of these sheets and you can add some conditional formatting if you want to and spring traps with just, you know, if there's anything in the cell, uh, turn the color and then it's pow, ooh, it's lava, there's lava here, um, which is really just a red formatted cell. Um, draw out, you know, just using the colored cells or the borders of the cells, you can draw out really elaborate maps if you want. Um, there's really not a fog of war function, um, but you can kind of make it work by just laying over a thematic image of your of your terrain and then just sliding it back when you want to reveal areas of the map. Or you can make just separate rooms or separate areas on different tabs. Um, it's so easy to just create a copy of a tab that you can make as many as you want. Um, you have to trust your players not to uh, pop over to the other tabs. Um, you can change permissions on them if you really don't trust your players, but as we all know, there's no such thing as cheating in a collaborative game. Um, you know, for me, it was all about keeping it simple. So uh, I didn't want to add things like a dice roller or av auto averaging damage blocks and automatic uh, initiative tally tables and stuff, but you totally could. It's all just a spreadsheet. 
Um, and all that stuff is totally doable uh, with no lag and pretty minor setup. So um, in fact, by the time I finish uh, uploading this video, I'm sure someone will have created a Google Sheet with all that stuff preloaded in it that you can just uh, share. Yeah, it's just a really easy uh, solution that I wanted to share with y'all. Um, we've been uh, really able to do it. We just use that Google Doc and pull up a Zoom meeting or a Join Me or a Google Hangout or whatever your chosen video conferencing uh, software of choice is. Um, really the most beautiful part about it is it's very close to just having a battle mat in front of you on the table with your friends.